This is called a switchback. When a trail switches like that, it's like a U-turn almost. For these Los Angeles middle school students, a trip into nature is anything but natural. Have you been hiking like this before? No, it's really, 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 really fun being out here. They may live just a half an hour from here, but on a school-sponsored trip, it's evident that's a world away. It kind of scares me to think of a country where none of the kids or the youth or the adults of tomorrow have a connection with the outside world or nature. 1997 to 2003, there was a 50% decline in the time kids spent on outside activities other than organized sports. For urban kids like 12-year-old Andrew Ayala, it's not for lack of trying. There's not a lot of trees and there's always cars passing by, so you can't really play outside. Andrew's mom battles distractions like video games and TV to get him outside. Them being outdoors, it puts their minds somewhere else. They focus on something different, something positive. Experts have agreed with Andrew's mom for decades, warning an entire generation was growing up disconnected from nature. Now it appears the government is listening, promising $1.2 million toward programs to get kids outside. Here in California, legislators are working on a no child left inside law. Playing outside gives you a certain sense of confidence. You know, going down to your local stream and having to go on a bike ride. Andrew has already learned a lesson he's going to share with his friends about why it's important to spend time outside. When they grow older and if they have a job, they'll think about what they're doing, what people are doing, like destroying nature and how beautiful it is. Stay on the trail, please. And that's a lesson most kids need more than a book to learn. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.